In this video, I want to show you guys a free and open source program to update your Windows PC drivers. Windows can actually download the drivers through the Windows updates, but they are usually out of date. They are not up to date. So we need some type of driver updater tool, or we have to go to the official website of the hardware. Let's say I want to download the latest NVIDIA driver. I go to the NVIDIA website, or if I need Intel driver, I need to go to the Intel website and all that, which can make you confused. Plus it's time consuming. So yeah, uh, let me show you guys a better way to update your drivers. All right. So there are two tools that I want to show you guys. One is called SDI tool or snappy driver installer. And another one is snappy driver installer origin. These two programs are actually free and open source. And uh, the second one, Snappy Driver Installer Origin, is actually the fork of Snappy Driver Installer. They are basically the same thing, but one might be better than the other one. So whichever works and whichever you prefer, you can download that. So to download this, you simply go to the download page and then we'll have two options, SDI full, SDI light. And the one that you should download is the SDI light, which is only 5.1 megabyte. And the full one is almost like 40 gigabyte because it contains all the drivers that are available on the internet and it works offline if that's something you want good okay but still if you want to keep those drivers up to date you'll still need to connect to the internet and then update the drivers okay that's how it works but again as i said if this is something you want you have the free space on your computer you can go with that but you can just go with the sdi light and then you can actually choose uh, to download a drivers only for your PC. So the drivers size will be smaller. And another one, we have the snappy driver installer origin. This one is actually better than the original snappy driver installer because this one actually works for me and the original one doesn't work for me. Okay, I mean, let me actually show you guys. So I have downloaded two files here, you can see. SDI, which is the original one, Snappy Driver Installer, and SDIO, which is the Snappy Driver Installer Origin. So I'm gonna run the SDI, and I'm just gonna index only, okay? So I have faced a problem with this, that first, it doesn't index uh, the drivers for my PC. Look at this, it is stuck at 0%. And second, sometimes it just crashes. Yeah, it, it isn't indexing my driver. Okay, that's the problem. So I can't use SDI, but when I use SDIO, the origin one, it works. Let me show you guys. Look at that. I actually have indexed the drivers already. So you can see these are the drivers that I need to download. Both of these programs actually work similarly. There isn't any significant difference. The only difference is that uh, this is a fork of the original SDI, okay? And this might work better and all that. And both of them are free and open source. So to download them, you simply download, okay? Click on download, download, and then uh, you'll get a zip file, okay? Which will look something like this. Unzip it and go to the folder and run the SDIO x86 one or just regular one, it doesn't matter. So once you open that, uh, let me show you guys. Both of these will give you the same prompt. So basically when you run this for the first time, it will give you this option. Welcome to Snappy Driver Installer. So we have three different options. Download all driver packs, which will download all the drivers that are av available. It's basically like downloading the full version of SDI. And download network drivers only. If you don't have network drivers, you can download those. Download indexes only. So this is the option that you should be using. This will basically index your PC's drivers, and then it will show you all the updates. So again, as I said, SDI original one doesn't work for me. It just simply cannot index. You can see indexes, it is stuck at 0%. I don't know why, but for some reason, it is not indexing. Sometimes it even crashes. So that's that. And But the SDI origin works 
fine perfectly for me and you can see i have some updates available even for uh, intel graphics card uh, nvidia uh, audio driver which i haven't installed because i don't use uh, the nvidia audio if i don't use anything that's basically like a bloat for me so i don't install uh, the drivers for that oh there is even ethernet update available let me actually update this i'm gonna select that you can see we have option install here and i have selected one driver to update here so actually uh, let's install it let's click on that and here you can see it's gonna download the drivers and then install it that's how it works oh ethernet driver is only like 30 megabytes which is kind of small yeah <laughs> now you can see installing ethernet driver give me the latest ethernet and look at that my internet is gone because i'm updating the driver so that's that installation completed click here to hide installed drivers i'm gonna click there now it won't show you the drivers that you just installed and my internet is back because the driver is installed <laughs> So, so on. I also need to update my Realtek audio drivers and Intel graphics drivers. And some of the things I actually don't know what they do, but these are some Intel related drivers. So right now I'm actually using a OBS to record my video and I'm actually using Intel QuickSync to record this video okay to encode this video so if i update any intel drivers this video recording will crash so i cannot update this right now but don't worry once i'm done recording this video i'll update everything here okay so i cannot touch anything that says intel here it's gonna stop this recording here all right but uh, yeah that's that this thing actually works really well and it gives you the latest updates that are available uh, unlike windows updates you know so with this you know you can keep your drivers up to date and it's all free i know you know i know you know there are softwares available for updating your drivers and most of them are actually paid i don't want to name any software out there for updating drivers that are paid but you know you know if you don't know good okay you don't have to know you can just use the free and open source uh, tool like this one uh, i mean this is the only free and open source tool to update your drivers which is kind of cool and yeah that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it but if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can try to have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye, -bye.